Hi, and welcome to Raven Street Dance Studio. We are live from the Powell Trail. We are in Wisconsin, and we are gearing up for the Hunting Moon Powell that is coming up this weekend. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for videos live from the powwow. Today, I just wanted to run through how to properly get dressed. With every style, there's a completely different outfit. So this is going to apply to the fancy shawl category. Um, we will start from the bottom up. Um, today, we are listening to the Motown Singers. They won first place last weekend at the Fargo, North Dakota Crossroads powwow, and um, they gave our studio a CD, and it is amazing. So make sure that you check out Motown. Now, let's get dressed. Lots of times we get to the powwow late. There's, we have to set up camp, get registered. We're gonna go through all those things at a different time. But right now, we're gonna focus on getting dressed. Luckily, baby is taking a nap. She is asleep, but make sure that if you have a, a young child, that if you're trying to get dressed, that you are prepared. Have a bottle, toys, snacks, ready and available so that you don't have to go and look for them in the middle of getting dressed, because it can get really chaotic. Like I said, we're gonna start from the bottom up. I like to use compression socks. You can purchase these at Walmart or your local drugstore. They hold the muscles intact so that when you are competing, the muscles don't tear from the bone and cause shin splints. So, and they're lightweight and thin, so they're not too thick where it's hot on the legs. So I start with compression socks. I like the white color. And then I follow with a short pair of ankle socks. This is because the compression socks are a little bit slippery and you don't want you know, a slippery um, footing when you're dancing. So then we put on a regular pair of cotton socks. And like I said, I like to use white because on my moccasins, a little bit of a sock will show. Make sure that you have a pair of insoles in your moccasins. This is to ensure support for the feet. Also, with, with powwow, we also have prayer. Native Americans pray with everything that we do. Before I put my moccasins on, I add a little tobacco. I say a little prayer of thankfulness. I say, I'm thankful for safe travel, have fast steps, stop up on time, and to keep me safe. It's a good way to stay connected. So if you see me stop on time, I may have forgot to put my tobacco in. Now that we've done that, place the moccasin on your foot. On this particular pair of moccasins, I did put a liner of grip. It's an extra um, sole that I attached afterwards. Gives it a little bit better grip so that you're not slipping when you're, especially at the indoor powwows. Now, I use tape to secure the ankle part of the moccasin. I prefer hockey tape. Duct tape um, is good and it will hold, but it will leave a residue of gum on the moccasin. Hockey tape is flexible, it stretches, and it's clear, and it won't slide up while you're dancing. I start the hockey tape and I simply roll it around this is to keep the edges, the tops of my moccasins secure under my leggings, but it's also to give me extra support on the ankles. When you're dancing, it's very strenuous on the body, so it's very important to um, take care of the body and prepare. After I place the hockey tape around the ankle, I take my moccasin, I mean my legging, On my leggings, I put my zippers upside down. This is because when I was younger, I had a problem with zippers feeding down, sometimes when I was dancing. This way, it can't feed anywhere. Now the legging and the moccasin are secure. It won't spin because the legging has been cut to contour over the bridge and the ankle of the foot. Make sure that when you get to the powwow, the first thing that you do is register. Some powwows will close registration even before grand entry. You can't compete 
or get your points from Grand Entry unless you've registered. So make sure you prioritize your um, events of getting ready. Some things are gonna be more important than others. If you are pressed for time, put the basics on so that you can make your points. You can always finish getting dressed later. But a professional pole dancer will be ready at all times. You never know when a special might occur or you might be called upon and you wanna look good. Okay, leggings and moccasins are on. Now that our bottoms are on, I came a little prepared. Instead of coming cute to the powwow today, I went ahead and put on my dancing shorts. I have a supportive sports bra underneath my t-shirt. So um, I don't have to go to the bathroom and change those things. I can get dressed right here at my seat at camp. Now that the bottoms are on, it is time to put the dress on. This dress was made by a friend of mine in Oklahoma. It is a one piece. Some fancy shawl dancers use a skirt separate from the top. I do usually have a zipper in the front due to I have a baby and I'm breastfeeding and it's a lot easier to get in and out of the dress. But this dress was made before I had the baby and I love it just the same. It has a nice flair to it. So now I'm gonna put my belt on. Today I'm gonna to choose my parflesh belt. And the dress was made by Erin Plumley. She's an excellent seamstress and Southern buckskin dancer. This parflesh belt was painted by Miguel Stans. He's also an amazing artist from the South Dakota area. There are artists all over Native America. If you don't know how to make the items that you see, there are plenty of artists out there that do. So use your resources. Now that I have my belt on, I'm going to apply my cape. It simply goes over the neck. Make sure that when you're at the powwow, you're paying attention to the MC. He's going to give you cues, schedule times, and let you know when you need to be ready. If you hear a drum roll call coming up, you need to hurry up because Granite Tree is about 10 minutes away. If they're still board dancing, you still have a little time. All right, now my cape is on. Next step is my choker. You can purchase hockey tape online from sports stores, but not just any sports store. It has to be in a northern area where hockey is a relevant sport. All right, our choker is on, and I would actually probably already had my hair braided, but today we haven't been able to do that. So refer to our YouTube channel for a braid tutorial. Now my earrings. For those of you who wear a lot of beaded and heavy earrings, you may want to attach a piece of tape on the earlobe or um, secure like one of those backs where it keeps the weight off the earlobe. Okay, we're just about finished here. I'm gonna grab a scarf. It's always good to have a scarf tucked into your belt because when you dance, you get sweaty. There's nothing worse than having nowhere to put the sweat. So these scarves you can purchase in California at Christie Fabric. Now we are ready for Grand Entry, except for the hair, we're ready to go. Thank you for tuning in and please subscribe, comment and share and stay tuned for our next video.